And now, Kid Show Crossfire. In an attempt to compete with Hannah Montana and High School Musical, apparently Nickelodeon is giving popular cartoon star Dora the Explorer a tween makeover. The changes have generated some controversial reactions. Here to discuss the changes are Colonel Douglas Stanwell, PhD, and our good friend Dr. Farts McCarrots. Colonel, let's start with you. Is Nickelodeon making the right call here, tweening out Dora? Uh, absolutely not on many levels. I mean, we're talking about the top-rated TV show for preschool children in the U.S. It's been translated into 24 different languages and syndicated in 125 different markets around the world. I understand that they want to grow with their demo, but I think this is a huge mistake. They're pushing themselves into teen issues like drugs and pregnancy that take away from the innocent charm of the show. Uh, okay, I want to go to Dr. Farts McCarrots. Uh, you think that Nickelodeon and Mattel are making the right decision here, correct? Everybody grows up. Nobody grows down. <clears throat> uh, I um... love Dora the Explorer. She's so sexy soon. Yummy. Um. Okay, uh, Colonel, do you think that's a good thing that Dora is, you know, quote, Sexy, unquote. Absolutely not. I think it's a disgrace. I mean, why do we have to constantly erode the age of innocence and introduce sexuality and sexiness in any context to an otherwise benign character? And then, you know, yeah, say no to sexy. <laughs> um. Yeah, right. Sexy rules. I want to see Dora's boobs. Will she go to the movies with me? I want to eat a thousand berries. Um, okay. Uh, I think we are out of time. Thank you, uh, Colonel Douglas Stanville, PhD, and uh, Dr. Fartz McCarrots, as always. Thank uh, you, Dr. Fartz McCarrots, a.k.a. the man in the mirror.